Through the summer of 2017, the Caribou Regional District in British Columbia's interior experienced 272 wildfires, almost triple the amount from the previous summer. The yellow indicates evacuation alert areas, and the red indicates evacuation order areas. We had just left the 100 Mile House curling rink where they had the evacuation center for those affected by the fire here. And uh, we've been told now we have to get out of this area. There is evacuation orders for 100 Mile and we have to go to Prince George as the next closest spot. Over 200 fires ignited in only two days to begin the disaster. The region is 14 times the size of Prince Edward Island. By mid-July, over three dozen evacuations had been announced in areas spread over most of the region. Officials are describing the damage here as catastrophic, and earlier today we got to see some of that damage close up. We drove through Soda Creek Dry a Road, rather, and we saw homes completely burnt to the ground, trees charred, and so that's what some people will be coming back to. And the air quality from time to time can get extremely poor. The area will remain on evacuation alert. People need to consider, particularly those in the rural areas, that the areas have been surrounded, uh, profoundly affected by wildfire. The end of July to mid-August saw some of the longest-lasting evacuations stretching over a month. Provincial and national media moved out, chasing stories such as smoke impacting populated areas outside the region. As a result, daily video updates were started by the communications team, along with a series of information videos. We've distributed uh, about 11,000 hygiene kits, about 22,000 after the fire and cleanup kits. We have had uh, over 4,000 families that have received that additional support for their, you know, for extreme vulnerabilities that our, our caseworkers have been managing. This disaster was the largest land evacuation in Canada since the Red River floods of 1950. The disaster began on July 6th and did not end until September 20th. Over the 77-day period, over 35,000 people were placed on evacuation, including some who were evacuated multiple times and thousands who had to drive eight hours to find refuge. Emergency responders worked extremely hard providing communities with protection through dedication and exceptional services. Nearly one million hectares of land was burned in the Caribou region equal to burning the land of every provincial capital city in Canada. Fortunately, no one was killed fighting or fleeing the wildfires, and only 227 structures were lost. The Caribou Regional District used a team of 20 communicators from all over British Columbia and Alberta, with a maximum of five at one time. They completed 122 media releases, multiple information meetings, and 103 videos. The equivalent of one person watching four years of video were consumed, and media coverage received one billion impressions. The Caribou team was supported by a tremendous information team from the BC Wildfire Service, along with the Red Cross, RCMP, and other agencies. Only one month after the disaster ended, a 12-week-long post-disaster consultation period began. The team traveled over 3,000 kilometers to two dozen meetings, and they also facilitated an online survey and Facebook Live meeting. Results of the process showed that the majority were pleased with communications during the disaster and felt the consultations allowed their voice to be heard. The consultation report included recommendations which were written for any local government to use in preparing and preventing future emergencies. Hello, I'm Tim Conrad with the Caribou Regional District. I'm the Public Information Officer. I'm here with Mike McCulley with the BC Wildfire Service. Hi, Mike McCulley here at the Caribou Fire Center. Hi, I'm Emily F., Manager of Communications at the Caribou Regional District. Hi, I'm Tim Conrad, Public Information Officer at the Caribou Regional District. Hi, Mike McCulley here in Williams Lake. Hi, I'm Emily F., Manager of Communications at the Caribou Regional District.